Hello Pinchers, welcome back. So we are going to do another episode. Today we are going to do fish curry with mango and coconut. So what I have is I have one and a half pounds of kingfish that I already clean cut, took the skin off and cleaned it in lemon juice and salt and it's ready to go. So the other things, you know, for my, you know, we are doing it to the mango. So this is one mango that I took the skin off and slid it. And if, if you don't have fresh mango, sometimes it's hard to get the fresh mango. You can use frozen, that's fine. And this is the, you know, the fresh, you know, I used one. This is like after taking the skin off and uh, seed and everything, it's a half a pound. So that's a mango. Then the, you know, I'm cooking with the coconut oil. You can use any oil, no problem. I'm using three and a half tablespoon. So uh, I'll show you all that. Then, um, Ginger garlic. This is two tablespoon of uh, ginger already minced. One tablespoon garlic. Three green chilies slit already. And one medium onion. Uh, if you have plenty of pearl onion, you can use that. But you know this is okay. Then the other things. Um, I have coconut. This is a dry coconut in a fresh one. I grated it. This is half of one coconut in a one cup and a one and a half, one and a quarter cup. So one and quarter cup of coconut grated. So this is going to be grinded like a fine paste, adding one and a half tablespoon of uh, chili powder. You know, this is not a cashmere chili, this is a regular powder. And this is one tablespoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon black pepper powder. This is a fenugreek already roasted. I have half teaspoon and a half teaspoon turmeric. So I'm going to add this to the coconut and grind it to a fine paste. And I'll show you the coconut, then we need a... Mango. Mango, yeah. <laughs> so this... Uh, so the mango's green, mommy? Green, ma green mango. So looking yeah. for a green mango in green the store. Green mango, yeah, okay. not the ripe one. Not the ripe and, one. And, you know, if you like sweetness... Why not? <laughs> why not? But this gives sour taste, you know, yes. to the fish, you know, to go with. Makes it tart. Yeah, because if it is sweet, then it's going to be a different taste. So green is always good. And salt, you know, as needed. We may need more than two teaspoons. And this is uh, tempering. So I am going to use a half teaspoon of a mustard seed and mustard seed, two dry chili, and two small pearl onion. You know, I minced if you don't have a small pearl onion. And you can use one tablespoon of onion, you know, the regular onion. And this is a quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seed. I'm going to put it in the tempering just to give it another flavor. And also we need some water to grind, also to cook, you know, so I have the water here. So first, before we start, I'm going to grind the paste. So I'm going to add all these to the coconut. Is it easier to add in there? And uh, then? You did, uh, yeah, then <laughs> I put it in the grind. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, grind it to a fine paste. Add some water, so I'm going to add half cup of water. This is a half cup. So put the mango on the side. And you know, um, the fresh mango you can cut it and put it in the freezer. Oh, that'd be all right. Yeah, a lot of times I do that. So I'm going to grind the coconut. <laughs> That means you need a little bit more water. So mommy put in half of the yeah, half. half of the half cup yeah. in there so and now adding the rest. Yeah, right. Finishing the whole half cup. If you need more, you can add. You know, no problem. But let me give a little mix. And for those who ask, this is a Preeti Eco Twin blender. Mommy oh my god, loves I like it. it very much. I don't know what I will do without this. So don't this burn out your own blenders. <laughs> This was designed for high you know what? I mean, a little bit blending. More. Mommy, can you show it without the water first, though, so yeah. you can see? Mm -hmm. okay. This is what Mommy saw and said she needed more. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to add a little bit more. It's 
not filed yet. Not filed no, yet. No, no, no. See it? Mm -mm. So not this. No, no. <laughs> so a little bit more. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, that's almost it. So this is a three fourth cup of water. No, I took half of the half cup. Yeah, this is good. Like that. All right, like that. It's fine paste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a container. It's easy to cook, you know, everything in order. Put to the last drop. <laughs> you know, with a small portion like that, this is the best container. Yes. Okay. So we got that in. Okay, so now we're going to start cooking. All right, so I'm going to add two tablespoons. So once the oil is hot, I'm going to add the ginger garlic. Green chili, curry leaves, onions. Yeah. So it's getting hot. So I'm going to add the ginger first. In the garlic. Curry leaves. And pinchers, I have to tell you, don't be scared by the green chili. It's green. a very light dish. It's not, uh, you know, you're adding the sour. If you, you know, if you want to use only two, you can. But this green chili is not very hot. No. And uh, just uh, the taste according to, you know, how much you need. So this is perfect for, you know, this one and a half pounds of... Um, Kingfish. So we just sort it, and the next one is up. Then I put some salt.
This is one teaspoon. You know, the salt always make it cook faster, the onions. So you need to, you know, saute for two minutes, that's all. You don't have to, you know, wait till it really get brown or anything like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after this, you know, saute for two minutes, then I'm going to add the coconut mix. So until the raw smell goes. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're going to add. Just sort it for two minutes, then add the mango and the water. Okay. Pinchers, the tanginess of the mango with the <coughs> fish. Makes it really good to eat with rice oh. and naan. It's rice. chapati. Chapati. Even, so, um, you know, the appam. Yep. Yep. So thank you to the pincher who asked mommy to make fish curry with mango and coconut. I've never heard of it, but it is so quite good. tasty. Yep. So keep sending in your requests. Uh, the family is very happy to test different recipes. So, Mommy, you're using kingfish. Can I use salmon? Can I use yeah, other meaty yeah, fish? Yeah, any, any fish. Okay. Any fish. So, how long do you do this, Mommy? How long? You know, just saute. Right here, yep. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah. So I'm going to add the water. That's right. That's one cup. There's two cups of water. Okay. So then you mix it. This thickens up everything. Oh, so don't, this will get thickened. Don't be scared. Because it's too we're going to add the coconut in. So I'm going to add a half cup more.
So, so this is two and a half. Two and a half cups. So once it's boiled, we're going to add the coconut. Mango. I mean, uh, the mango, <laughs> sorry. And mango and the uh, salt. Okay. We added one teaspoon already. Mm -hmm. so. Slowly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so then we can taste how much. And of course, always salt is according to your taste. Okay. So now it is boiling. So I'm going to add this mango. And if you want more gravy, you can add a little bit more water, you know, okay. to eat up and all that. But this is good enough. Okay. Mm. So you're just waiting for it to boil? Yeah, once this is boiled, then I'm going to add the fish. Ah, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then we can keep it to the media, low to media. Okay. Yep. Now it is boiling. So we're going to be add the fish. Now. You see it boiling? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to add the fish oil. So you're mixing to make sure that the fish yeah, is yeah. under oh, the Oh yeah, under, yeah. Okay. You don't want all jammed in one place. Right. Yeah. Alright. So it's going to cook maybe for the next 10-15 uh, minutes. Okay. Okay. So we had to mix it in between though. Okay. So I'm going to taste, before that I'm going to taste for salt. It's good for now. 
Okay, so I'll wait, you know, at the end. So I'm going to close it. And put it on low, low to medium, you know, in between. Mm -hmm. Okay, fingers. It's boiling and cooking. So, you know, you can just mix it a little bit. Then you can see it don't stick to the bottom. Cooking well. So it's been five minutes. So let it cook. All right, still cooking. So, we have enough gravy, perfectly fine. Yeah, the mango still need to be cooked a little bit more. So you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for salt taste. Because when the mango sourness go into that, you know, you, you probably need a little bit more salt. Okay. So. Yeah. A bit more. We're not adding any cocoa. Right, because we have the mango. This is it. The mango will take Correct. care of that part. And, Mommy, you're <laughs> gently stirring. Yeah, because you don't want to break anything. That's why I'm just going like that. Then you can do this. Then, you know, other way you can do is you can do this. And always shaky, remember shaky, it's hot. <laughs> That's why she's two hands. Remember, always remember it's hot. And two hands. So, yeah. Added the salt. Mommy, how did you know the mango wasn't ready? So I can see that. Oh, you can, you yeah. felt it? Mm -hmm. It'll be soft? Yeah, it will be soft. Okay, so you can't cut I it. I can take one out then. Okay. See, it's hard. Yeah, a little bit more. We want it easier yeah. to cut. Yep. So let it cook. Look at that. Okay, we'll be back. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pinjas. It's been cooking for 15 minutes. Yeah, you can see the mango is cooked. Fish is cooked. You see that? When the fish flakes, it's going to be white. Yeah. That's how you know it's cooked. Mm -hmm. No transparency, mm -hmm. pinkness. Ma mango don't take too long to cook. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the other thing is if you feel like you don't want too much gravy, right? Right. So what you do is you turn the heat up. Okay. So it will like, you know, like boil, boil, boil. Yeah. You know, one, two minutes. It'll, it'll be done. done. But this is, you know, this is going to get thickened. Okay. So the next step we are going to do is, you know, the salt perfectly fine. There's enough sourness from the mango. You know, you don't need any, any cocum. Right. You don't need any tamarind. Right. For some reason, the mango is not, mango is not sour enough. You can add a little bit of lime juice if you want. Okay. Or tamarind or anything you want. Sure. But this is perfect though. Okay. So the next step we are going to do is um, tempering. 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 Mm -hmm. Do you leave it cooking, mommy, while we temper? So I'm gonna. So uh, no, no, no. Oh, maybe I can do that. I turn it this okay, way. Okay, we're simmering. Turn. Simmering. Yeah. So we are going to add one and a half tablespoon. This other one. A little bit more. A half. Any spices that we added here, mm -hmm. example chilies or chili powder, you know, I added one and a half tablespoon. And if you want to replace with the um, cashmere chili powder, or if you want to add a little bit more, or if you want a little bit less, so please adjust according to how much you can take the heat. And the chili that I put three is not very hot at all. It's not hot. So if you want to add only two, you know, if it's too hot, you know, that's fine. So 
here. Right, so I will test it with the oil side. This is more pearl onion. Pearl onion. And if you don't have pearl onion, you know, just add one tablespoon of the onion. onion. Yeah. So this is going to be two. You can break it. And if you don't have curry leaves, you know, you don't, you don't need to use it. All right. What I like is, you know, you can hold it. Yes. Where did you buy it, Anna? Oh, I bought it from the Indian store. But yeah. you can buy it in the Amazon. Oh, okay. Or Indian store. This is one of the Indian store that I bought it. Okay, so just to give a little bit of flavor, mm -hmm. quarter teaspoon of fenugreek. And now you're just heating right. it a little bit to get the flavor yeah. in? Yeah, okay. yeah. I turned the heat down because I don't want anything burnt. Yeah. You know the fenugreek, just to add it to give a little extra flavor. Got it. So this will go, see that? This I'm going to keep it, you know, to put it on the top, you know, like a garnish. Garnish. Yep. All right. Pinchers. Turn the heat. This is the yeah. enough gravy, thickened. And the more it sits, it will, it will get thicker more. So that's our fish curry with uh, mango and coconut. It's one of the best to eat with rice, chapati, appam. And yeah. So I took some nice pieces, I put it on the side, so when you have a guest, you know, instead of putting from the bottom, that you can see, see that, then you, they can see the nice pieces on top. See it? Put the nice piece on top of it, and Plating it looks chips. nice. Instead of, you know, the gravy and all from the, t uh, from the bottom. This is what I always do. Then you can put this on the side. Look at that. Now we are going to do our garnish. You know, you can present this like that. Ta-da! All right, pinchers, our fish curry is ready to go. So please try to make it. You put your mind to it, you can do it. So see you next time with another episode. Thanks for watching. Thank you.